Welcome back dear friends. I am so happy to meet you again in this podcast Timeless Words of Wisdom. And this is episode 5. Thank you so for coming back to listen to this podcast. Today we are going to talk about a very serious subject. Did you know that you are a timeless soul? Yeah, you are a timeless soul. Now what what does it mean to be timeless? It means to be immortal. And the meaning of immortal is to live forever and never die. Haven't you heard of those people who wanted to live and live and live and never die? So they try all kinds of plastic surgery and all kinds of treatments and prolong, they want to prolong their life. Well, we are not talking about that kind of life. <laughs> we are talking about eternal life. Life that goes on even after we have passed from this physical life into the next. And the good news is that God who created us wants us to live forever. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Proof? You want proof? Okay, let's go to John chapter 3 verse 16. Yeah. For it says, I'm reading from the Amplified once again, for God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave up his only begotten unique son so that whoever believes, trusts in, clings to and relies on him shall not perish, come to destruction, be lost, but have eternal, everlasting life. How do you like that? Yes. God wants you to live forever with him. He lives in forever. For him, time is not restricted like it is for us. All those who come to live in this earth, in a physical body, have to die sometime. Right? The only one who defeated death is Jesus. Ah, we'll come back to that some other time. But today, let's have a look at this timeless, immortal, uh, everlasting life. Yeah. What does Psalm 90 verse 4 say? This is about how God sees time. For a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past or as a watch in the night. Now God, in the same Psalm, Psalm 90 verse 11 and 12 says, Who knows the power of your anger? Who worthily connects this brevity of life with your recognition of sin? And your wrath, who connects it with the reverent and worshipful fear that is due you? So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Now there are some deep secrets in this. You want to live forever? Then there are some things you have to keep in mind. There are some things you have to follow. Now these are spiritual principles. Just like a principle. Like okay, gravity is a principle. You throw something up, it has to come down. How do you know that? You studied that at school, didn't you? Gravity. Yeah. In the same way. How we live on earth, how we live this lifetime on earth matters. There are people who say you can do anything and get away with it. It doesn't work that way. There is someone who keeps a watch on everything. And he has laid down some principles, some instructions. 
and he wants us to live he's given us free will he did not make us puppets you know oh oh no way he did not make us puppets if he wanted he could have you know but he didn't he gave us free will so there are many people who keep blaming god and say why does god allow this and why does god allow that hey he didn't make you a puppet he gave you a choice Why is there evil in the world? There are people who choose to do evil instead of good. Has God written anywhere in his book that you should do evil? No. He didn't say that. But there are people who do evil. Why? Because they listen to the enemy of God. God has an enemy. And that enemy is keeping on creating problems and situations to make god look bad to make people believe the lie that god doesn't exist to make people believe the lie that they can do anything and get away but this enemy of god knows that they will not get away with it that god will punish them and he wants god to punish them he wants god to punish all his children but god loves all his children he does not want anyone to be punished he doesn't want anyone to perish he doesn't want anyone to perish yes he doesn't want you to perish and that's why he sent jesus jesus could have happily sat there in heaven <laughs> enjoyed bliss forever and never bother about coming to earth he didn't have to do that mm -mm. he didn't have to do that the only reason he did that was if he didn't then all of us would have spent our forever in hell with that enemy of god god created that hell for his enemy not for us but all those who choose to follow that enemy will end up there with him god does not want any of us to go there he doesn't let's have a look at some more verses now What does God say? What does God say in John 10 verse 28? He says, "And I give them eternal life, and they shall never lose it or perish throughout the ages. To all eternity there shall never they shall never by any means be destroyed, and no one is able to snatch them out of my hand." So who gives eternal life? God. He gave us this life that we are living in the flesh and then he has given us eternal life that we can live forever with him. Now if you do not choose to follow God and live by his means, by his standards, by his principles then you will be choosing the opposite and the opposite of going against god that is doing what the devil wants the enemy of god wants or satan wants when you do the opposite of what god wants you land up spending eternity in hell that's not a good thing okay let me give you a good example simple now if you were traveling from india to the usa hmm and you're going to live in usa for a long time 
So you're traveling from India to USA, but you have a stopover at Dubai. Now, which currency will you keep with yourself? While you're traveling, will you have tons and tons of dirhams? Or will you have much more dollars and just a few, some dirhams to go and do some shopping there during the stopover? What would you do? What would a wise traveler do? Think about it. Natural, right? You would want to have dollars because you are going to be in USA. And in USA, the currency is dollars. Right? Okay, so let me tell you. We are on our journey too. We are in the stopover right now. Earth is our stopover. We are here for a short time. And the currency on this earth is all the things that people want. Hmm? Wealth, prosperity, name, fame, success, status. Name it. It's all there. That's the currency of the earth. And this is a stopover, a short stopover. But our long-term de destination is heaven. And the currency in heaven is come on, think about it. The word of God tells you what the currency in heaven is. Faith, believe in God, obey His commandments, obey His instructions. People don't like the word commandments. Well, commandments are simple instructions. Now, if I had to tell you how to go from here to another place, I'll tell you go this way, turn right, turn left. You'll see this and then you'll see that. Instructions, right? The Word of God gives us instructions, markers for life. So we can reach our eternal destination and spend eternity with our Father in heaven. Jesus said he came on earth not to condemn us but to save us. If he wanted to condemn us it was very easy. He is pure and holy. He is perfect. He never sinned. He could have easily pointed fingers at everyone and told them, you, you are this, you are that. But he never did that. Even when a woman was caught in adultery and brought to him, he did not condemn her. Instead, he told her, go and sin no more. Such, so great was his love. Let's go to Ezekiel 18, verse 32. In this, God says, For I have no pleasure in the death of him who dies, says the Lord God. Therefore, turn, repent, and live. Repent and live. You probably spent your whole life believing certain things. It's not necessary everything you believed or learned was right. I've changed a lot of things that I used to think earlier. It has changed totally now. Because once I got to know the truth, I say, oh, oh, this is not right. I changed my way of seeing it. And I adapted the new way of seeing things, the new way of understanding things. We were all immature at one point of time and as we grew up through our experiences, through our learning, we became more mature. And what do you call somebody who doesn't grow up at all? What would you? Would you want to be like that? No. Imagine a 
a 45 year old person acting like a 2 year old no way you don't want to be like that the same is true with spiritual things as you grow older and become more mature you need to grow spiritually too you need to have more self control you need to have more understanding you need to be able to empathize sympathize help people think beyond yourself and the word of god teaches us all these things okay this message has become a little longer than i thought so i'm going to wind up now and i hope that these things that i've shared you will ponder over it and go down to the deepest truth about it and find out that you are indeed a timeless soul so i'll see you again in the next episode and this is henrietta signing off see you again bye have a good day or good night wherever you are bye bye mm-hmm.